Okay, so we've got a little update to where I'm at now. So the postman has brought me some uh, some presents in the mail, and he's got I got an NCE USB interface, and got this uh, USB A to USB Type B type connection. It's five meter long cable. Uh, I don't have a laptop, so I'm going to have to put this table. Uh, a little bit away from the computer so this five meter cable should allow me to do that quite easily I've got also a pair of crimpers this is for crimping RJ11 and RJ12 type plugs and also some little uh, telephone type plugs to go with the crimpers now the cable that goes into the USB interface and into the power panel, I'm going to make up my own custom cable. That's why I bought these crimpers. Now the, the cables are slightly different from a telephone cable and we'll take a closer look at why they're different. So here's an old telephone cable I've got lying around. And even though this has the same plug that I'm going to use for the NCE power cab. This cable won't actually work properly with it. And let's have a closer look and see why. Okay, so if we look very closely at these plugs, now if we line the tabs up, this tab on the left side has been broken off, but if you can imagine both tabs are lined up at, on top, and you can see that the colors are going in the opposite direction. It goes yellow, green, red, then black, but they're going the opposite way. Now for the NCE power cab, we need these plugs to be running both in the same direction. And I'll show you an example of what I mean. Okay, so on this cable you can see that the colors are going in the same direction. Now this is, this is a cable that was supplied by NCE power cab. And you use it when you want to use your uh, power cab as a pro cab. So it's very important to make sure that the coloring wires are in the right direction or you may have uh, some problems so I'm planning to mount the USB interface around here somewhere maybe there and that's why I bought the crimpers because I want to make a, a custom length cable to go from this end and then uh, back around into the the interface so uh, I'm going to go ahead now and make up a new cable and see how it goes now I've cut the cable to length and all I need to do now is put the plug onto this end now the plug simply slides over the end but I'll certainly be lining up the plugs, making sure the wires are going the right way. Slide it on, put it into the crimper, bam, should be done. Okay, so I've got them running the wires both the same way there and the tabs at the top. So I'll take my plug, slide it in carefully. Making sure we're lining up with the contacts. Turn it over. Just check to make sure that's right again. And we are right. Okay, so this is the first time I've made a plug. So I'm going to slot it into position and crimp okay wow so that was my first attempt at making an RJ12 plug seems to have worked all right but I won't know until I've tested it 
So I'm planning on mounting the interface about here. So I got my square. And I've squared it off and I've marked the holes. And I've done these little pilot holes here, which I'm going to further drill out with a larger bit. And then I'm going to mount these little brass fixings, which will screw in. And then this screw then will hold it, come in from the top and hold it in position. So it should hold it nicely in position and see how it looks. Right, so the little brass screws now are mounted and I've screwed them into the MDF. These little brass screws, by the way, uh, they use them in uh, a lot of PC on the casings and stuff on the PCs. Now the USB interface should just sit nicely on top and then we'll just screw it down holding it into position. Now I wanted to be sure that this was mounted quite securely because I've been moving this table around the house a lot and I don't want anything to fall off the table and break. So this, uh, <clears throat> this system allows me to keep it here nice and tight. Okay, so one more screw. There we go, lovely. Okay, so the plug is made. So I should be able to just plug it in here. And plug it in here. And I'll have to find something to hold this cable down in position. And I got my five meter long like a printer cable, it's got the USB type B connection there and that will go in to the slot here and I'll have to take the other end to the computer so the only thing to do now would, will be to plug it in to my computer into the USB port and fire up the software uh, I'm going to be using a software package called, I think it's called Roke Rail, and I'll be trying that one out. If I don't get much success with that package, I'll be uh, trying out the JM, JMRI Dakota Pro Panel Pro software. Hopefully there won't be too many problems, and uh, we'll see how it goes.